Hello everyone, let's look at average word problems from Primary 5 Mathematics. And this is question 2. First, let's read the question together. At the end of the year, Bauni calculated the average of all his exam results. If he scored 100 for maths, he would have an average of 70 marks. However, he only scored 40 for maths and have an average of 55 marks. How many subjects did he take? So, next, let's underline the keywords or phrases for this question. So, the first key phrase is, if he scored 100 for maths, he will have an average of 70 marks. Next, he only scored 40 for, for maths. So, he had an average of 55 marks. So, we need to find the number of subjects that he, he took during the exam. So, first, we need to remember that our formula for average will be total will be equals to average multiplied by number of items. For this question, the number of items will be the number of subjects. Next, let's draw the model. This model will represent the other subjects that he have taken because we do not know how many other subjects he had taken other than mathematics. And this will be this part will be for mm, his, his maths. And if he's got 100 marks for maths, the average will be 70 marks. This means that this entire rectangle here, including the number of marks that he could have gotten for his other subjects, would be total number of marks he have gotten for all his subjects will be equal to 70, which is average. Multiply by the number of subjects. Next, he only scored 40 for maths. This means that instead of 100, he scored only 40. So this will be 40 marks that he has scored for maths, which means that the average he had gotten will drop to 55 marks. What does it mean? The total marks that he has gotten for the other subjects will remain the same. So, this is unchanged. Now, the total changes. Why the total changes? Because his actual marks for max dropped to 40. From 100, dropped to 40. So, now the total is actually equals to the average. Will be 55 multiplied by the number of subjects. The number of subjects still remain the same. Next, we find what is the difference between his expected result with 100 marks and the actual marks they have gotten. So 100 minus 40 will be equal to 60. So the difference between number of marks for maths between expected and actual will be 60 marks. So this part here of the rectangle will be 60. Now let's look at the entire total. So the total will be equals to 70 multiplied by the number of subjects. Now, from here to here of the model, the total is equals to 55 multiplied by the number of subjects. So, we need to find what is the total equals to the average multiplied by number of subjects for this part here, the missing part here. So, to find that, we take 70 minus 55 and we'll get 15. So this part here is actually 15 multiplied by the number of subjects equals to the total. Now, what is the total for this part here? The total is 60 because we know the actual number of marks for this part, which is 60. So if the total for this part is 60, and 60 will be equals to 15 multiplied by the number of subjects, we can find the number of subjects that Bauni took during that year. So to find that, we take 60 divided by the average for this difference. Will be equals to 60 divided by 15 and you get 4. So Bauni took 4 subjects during that year. In order to check, we can substitute that 4 to this missing equation here. So to find the total of the entire thing, we think can take 70 multiplied by 4, we get 280. If we take 280 minus 100, we know that the total for the, the subjects 
total marks at, for the subjects that he has taken other than maths will be 180. Now to check that, if we take this total equals to 55 multiplied by 4, we'll get 220 and we take away 40, we still get 180. So it makes sense, our answer fits in the entire problem given. So Bounty took 4 subjects at the end of that year. That's all. Thank you and bye-bye.